Hello and welcome to a bonus video of Let's Play Black Belt on the Sega Master System. Um, in this video I'm going to be doing the secret 7th level again, except this time I'm not going to lose a life. Um, if you remember my Black Belt playthrough, um, I completed the game without losing a life, but um, I actually lost 3 lives while doing the secret 7th level, so um, in this video I am not going to lose a single life um, because um, that always annoyed me about my black belt playthrough. Anyway, um, I've paused the emulator um, and I've paused it at the exact point um, that I've completed the game without losing a life, so um, I've just defeated Wang um, and I'm ready to put the cheat in to get to the secret 7th level. Um, I just need to unpause the emulator and then I can continue and do the cheat and things. Um, I'm going to pause the video, uh, I'm going to unpause the emulator, then I'm going to resume the recording, so I'll see you in just a moment. Um, I'm just going to go through the ending sequence again and then I'm going to put the cheat in. Now the cheat is just holding both buttons while tapping up continuously when the text appears and eventually the secret 7th level will start. Um, uh, since I did the video for Black Belt I've had... Um, yeah, I'm holding both buttons and tapping up now. Um, I've had a lot of practice on this game um, and I can pretty much do the first two bosses without losing any health. Um, it doesn't matter for the main playthrough because your health is replenished then anyway, but uh, um, in the secret seventh level it's like a survival mode so, um, and that means your health is um, is carried over so it's important that you not lose any health on the, on the early easy bosses. So, uh, um, so it's good that um, it's good to have a way not to lose any health, if, if you know what I mean. Right. Okay, for the first one, Ryu, or Ru, whatever his name is, uh, you just have to stand there, and when he does an attack, move in, and then wait. <coughs> That's it. And that's all you have to do. Easy peasy. And you don't have to follow him around or anything. He'll never move in close to you until he's attacking. So you, you can just um, you can just be there, and he'll just try his attack. And and when after he does the first punch or kick, just move in, then move back, and then just uh, rinse and repeat. Um, Hawk is also easy. Just make sure you punch him, and that's for the same reason that you want to punch on the normal levels because it's faster and more reliable. Even though it for the first half of his health, it actually does less damage um, until he starts doing the uppercuts when half of his health is gone. If you kick, you leave yourself open because it doesn't have as much range as the punch. So um, make sure you punch, even though it will take longer because it doesn't do as much damage for the first half of his health. You see, now he's doing the uppercut. And there we go. And, and uh, the punch for the last move always turns into a kick uh, because Ricky has, has to finish him off with kicks and for some reason Hawk explodes. I, I, I don't know why. Um, yeah, uh, 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 the next boss is Gonta. He's the first one that can cause a slight problem. Um, just yeah, because he's slightly unpredictable. But just make sure you jump over his first charge and then go for it. Don't stand too far away from him, otherwise he'll charge you again. You know, here we go. Now oh, he got me, the little sod. Now oh, he got me again. Yeah, that's not bad, that. As long as he doesn't um, take too much of your health away. He only got me twice there, uh, so it's not too bad. Um, I shouldn't lose any health on Oni, because Oni's easy. But I do want to show you... Um, I, I want to show you uh, that Ricky has to walk over his mask. I didn't demonstrate that in the in the playthrough, because... Um, because the mask is on the... Um, the mask was on the right of him then. So I'm going to see if I can get Oni on the left of me. And then, and then it will show you that Ricky has to walk over his mask. There we go. And if, if, you, if you defeat Oni and the mask goes off the screen because you've got Oni near the edge, um, you won't be able to leave this level because Ricky has to walk over the mask. Otherwise you won't be able to leave and it sort of crashes the game. It's this annoying little glitch. I don't know why they put it in, but Ricky has to walk over his mask if you want to leave the area. Otherwise you can't get to Rita or the next level if you're playing this during the uh, uh, normal gameplay. Um, so this will demonstrate to you. There we go, just one more hit and he's mine. 
There we go. You see, and he has to walk over it. He has to walk over the mask. Okay, time for Rita. Um, Rita's the first one who can cause real problems for you. Um, so just be careful. Do a punch, then I need to do a low punch. No. Okay, then I do the sky attack thing, that's it. And then a low kick, no. That's it, good. Need to do a... That's it, high kick, that's it. And a punch, then I do the jump thing. That's it, good. Now it's just us to do that, and then... Yes, good. Right, I hope that will be enough health for, um... Wang, but I guess I'll find out. Um, yeah, Rita's the first one who can cause you real problems because she's unpredictable like that. Um, and obviously Wang is a problem because he's so difficult. Um, I'm not going to be getting him with the cheat way, so I'll get him normally. Okay, jump again for me, that's it. Ideally, you want him to jump over you. That's it, good, got a kick in there. And then just get rid of him. Don't let him corner you, whatever you do. Okay, get rid of him. Nope. Good. That was close. That's it. Oh, that was uh, uh, that was a good recovery there. I like that. And again. Okay, get rid of him because he's getting a bit too close for comfort. Good. Okay, he's nearly done. Um, remember, you can only uh, you can only finish him off uh, with a standing punch. You can't finish him off with anything else. So I need a standing punch now. There we go. That's it. Usually means I have to take damage to do it. So make sure when you when you do need the standing punch that you uh, uh, that you have some health left to take that hit that you need to take. Usually you can get him. Uh, you can get the final punch without taking health, but it's very rare. So just make sure you have a bit of health left. Um, yeah, just make sure you have one bit of health left to take that final punch or as much health as you can really um, uh, because you might need uh, it might take more than one attempt to get that final punch in anyway and that's the end so I managed to do survival mode without losing a life um, Gonta was the first problem lost two bits of health with him didn't lose any on on uh, I didn't lose any health on Oni. Um, Rita is always a problem, as is Wang. Rita is just unpredictable like that when she does those little fast attacks when you get close to her. Um, but the real problem is, of course, Wang. He's the main problem. I mean, you can lose all your health with him if he corners you. Even if, even if you have nearly maximum health, he can take all your health away. Anyway, so that was um, the bonus video of Let's Play um, Black Belt. Because I was annoyed. I was always annoyed that on my playthrough of Black Belt, the survival mode, I, you know, I lost three lives on it, but I did complete the game normally uh, without losing a life, which is all that counts really, but I just wanted to show you how to do survival mode without losing a life, and, and that's it. Um, yeah, so my next video is definitely going to be, I did say my next video was going to be the ninja, but now definitely, this was just a bonus video, next video I'm going to do... Uh, will be part one of Let's Play the Ninja on the Sega Master System, uh, then part two, and then I'm going to do Heroes of the Lance, and then probably Moonwalker. Anyway, so thank you for watching this bonus video, I hope you enjoyed it, um, and uh, my next video will be part one of Let's Play the Ninja. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.